that's kind of the setup you'd be looking at with this thing. Let's power this thing on. Let's get into the iMac, add this thing, add our fingerprint, and uh, I'll tell you a few other things about it as well. It's here, it's here, it's here. I don't think I've ever been this excited for a keyboard in my life. But inside this box is the brand new Apple Magic Keyboard with the number pad with Touch ID. So the new Touch ID Magic Keyboard with number pad. Numeric pad? They call it something special. We're gonna unbox this. We're gonna set it up on the new M1 iMac. Now, there's been a bit of confusion, I feel, with, with this keyboard. I wish it was out of the box. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's, let's open it up. And before we unbox the new Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Get this old thing out of the way and turn that off. There we go. Now we got a bit more room. Let's grab our trusty screwdriver. The bottom here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, get rid of this ugly box. Look at how pretty it looks. For $180, it uh, it better better look pretty pretty. Yeah, see, magic keyboard with Touch ID and numeric keypad. So this just came out literally like the other day. So let's uh, let's get this wrap off of here. And then it looks like there's nothing else but sliding it out. Look at that. Nothing else down in here. Wow. It seems so much bigger than the other one. So they did include a USB-C type uh, nicely braided lightning cable here. And then uh, an instruction booklet. I would really need that for. I guess to learn about function keys and stuff like that. And then that's it. There's literally like this doesn't even come out. All right. Mm, it looks so nice. Take off this. Got the Apple logo on the back. I will say I I already like just that it's longer. I also like having this keypad here. That's that just seems nice. Also, the track keys being bigger also seems nice. I do wish that it matched the iMac a little more. I wish I could have got it in green. For example, this is the old one. And see, this is all that I'm stuck with. And these keys are little. This will be so, so much better. So that's it. That's, uh, I can bring my mouse pad back over. That's kind of the setup you'd be looking at with this thing. So, um... Let's power this thing on. Let's get into the iMac, add this thing, add our fingerprint, and uh, I'll tell you a few other things about it as well. All right, so out with the old and in with the new. So to set this up, it's actually probably the most simplest thing in the world. All you literally have to do is have it near your iMac, which mine's right in front of me, and flip your switch. Then on your iMac, go into system preferences and keyboard and then set up Bluetooth keyboard. And this says make sure it has, there we go, found magic keyboard. So we'll click continue, connected, repairing. Bingo, double press the power button on your Mac. Click past the power button twice to securely connect your keyboard. There we go, now it wants my password. And now we can set up the fingerprint reader. So the fingerprint reader is right here. Gonna lift and rest your finger on touch ID repeatedly. Keep going to capture the edges of your fingerprint. Get the front, sides. Touch ID is ready. Your fingerprint can be used to unlock your Mac. Done. And there we go. And so I can use Touch ID for all these things now. Password autofill, iTunes, Apple Pay, unlocking the Mac. And also I can use it for fast user switching. And you can add another fingerprint if you wanted to. Granted, I feel like I'll always just use my right. And so one other thing with this you can do is if you press that key, it locks. And then to get back in, boom. That's so quick. Locked, come back from my work, touch, unlocked. Absolutely love that, and it's super, super quick. Well, there we go. The new Magic Keyboard with Touch ID 
with the numeric keypad. I honestly, so far from only using it for a few minutes, I really love it. I think this keyboard feels better than the keyboard that came with it, even though they're supposed to be exactly the same. It, it just feels really, really nice. It feels like it has a really, really good click. Now, one thing about this keyboard that a lot of people have wondered is does this keyboard work with other Apple Macs? The technical answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 She apparently has a school test to do, so I'm having her do that while I'm making my iMac video. It's annoying because there's 40 questions and the time limit is three minutes. That seems impossible. I know! Literally, I only made it to like 20-something. So the technical answer to that is yes and no. This keyboard will work with an older Mac, but the only thing that'll work is physically the keys. The actual whole Touch ID part of this keyboard will not work on any Mac unless it's an M1 Mac. So the M1 MacBooks, the M1 MacBook Airs, the M1 Mac Minis and the M1 iMacs, all of those will work with this keyboard or the $150 version that does not have the numeric keypad without any issues. If you buy the $150 version or this $180 version for an older iMac, everything will work except for the Touch ID. So you won't be able to set your fingerprint up unless you have an M1 Mac. That's basically all there is to know. So that's gonna do it for this video. So far, I like it. I'll have to use it more on Monday. It's Friday, it's the end of the week, so I'm about to shut this thing down as soon as I edit this video and get it posted for today. So click that like button for me, click subscribe, make sure you indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and I'll see you all next time. Deuces.